Okay, I'm uh, back in a empty parking lot here. Uh, I just left the uh, the store and it was so busy that I, I wanted to show you this feature without having to uh, get in the way of people doing their Christmas shopping. So uh, yeah, just here in an uh, empty parking lot, I'm gonna show you a feature of uh, full self-driving uh, or enhanced autopilot. So you need one of those two uh, for this to be uh, working. You need uh, full self-driving, or enhanced autopilot um, and the Model Y's had enhanced autopilot for a short period of time there I think September uh, or October they uh, Tesla offered it for a short period of time for I think like 5,000 Canadian uh, anyways you need either one of those to have summon to use this feature so uh, what you need to do is go into your settings let me just show you that now okay you're gonna go into your settings Go to autopilot, customize summon. All right, and you see require continuous press. You wanna have that on no. Uh, so this will allow the car to uh, move forward or backwards without you holding the button, either on the app. Uh, and it will allow you to use your key fob for summon. Uh, without this, the key fob will not do summon at all. Just a heads up. Okay, so once that's set, just allow it gonna go back out and it should be good to go so let me just show you here okay so here is my key fob yes I realize it's red and it doesn't match my car I got this when I had my model 3 my model 3 was white it also didn't match that car but whatever I like the red even though it's starting to get a little bit tarnished so uh, what you're gonna do is um, make sure the car is locked Okay, so it just locked itself. So hold the lock button. Keep holding it until the hazards turn on. Okay, to go forward, you press the button on the front. Oops. Once. Okay, that's not working for some reason. Let's try that again. Hold the button. Okay. And I hit the button on the front. And the car, without me holding anything... Okay, it is moving by itself. Now to stop this, just press the lock button. Car will stop or it'll stop automatically if it senses uh, that it's gonna hit something. So let's try that one more time. I couldn't get reverse working, but let's see if I can do it. So hold the button until it starts to flash. Hit the reverse button. Okay, you'll hear the parking brake disengage and the pedestrian sound on and it's moving by itself so uh, i think i have it set to 12 meters right now but um for some reason it just kind of stops <laughs> i'm not sure why it just keeps doing that in the empty parking lot but i swear it does work at my driveway uh yeah so that's uh summon not smart summon just basic summon with the key fob if you have any questions about that give me a shout and i'll do a video about smart summon soon all right thank you talk to you soon